Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 33 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here Cancer and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? All right, now keep in mind, this is for Cancers who are single and this is for Cancer Sun Moon Rising in the North Node. So it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you, Cancer. All right. cancer so i'm gonna shuffle all the cards out and see what's and then i'll tell you like what i see here what this is or what's going on here with who this is that you are dealing with okay Okay, Cancer. So I do see here with who this is. For some of you, this is most definitely someone that you might like you're single and separated, but you might still be in the middle of going through that process of the divorce with your ex. For others of you, this is just full blown your ex. Okay. Or really shitty, annoying family members or parents that you're dealing with right now. Or someone you are in business and contract with and it, it's messy so regardless here whatever's going on here cancer overall they definitely you know start out um i don't know if there's like a libra gemini or an aquarius involved in all of this or not um i don't know if that's what they are like their zodiac sign or something or that's who they're dealing with as well while they're dealing with you i don't know what's going on here um, but I will say too, this is most definitely someone who's that you could be dealing with that's in a marriage and relationship, obviously outside of you, but they're obviously dealing with you too. Okay. In that way, regardless of what this is, overall, this person is going to do a few things, scam you, cheat you, cheat the system, get you into political problems or issues or judicial problems or illegal stuff, or, you know what I mean? And, or, um, stall the divorce do something in a very twisted kind of way here with you or towards you of injustice, unfortunately, not be well balanced, not be neutral or fair with you at all. They start out not really being sure. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. They start out not be, um, they start out basically full blown deceptive, uh, lying, cheating, stealing, scammy. I don't know, but they, they start out very deceptive here towards you. And then all of a sudden, that's what makes them realize. Now, the deception is they're obviously sleeping with you or, you know, cheating, you know, with who they're with. So it's like they're doing something with you and towards you in a romantic, intimate way, and they're taken. Others of you doesn't have to be that. Um, for others of you, this is someone that has just a really deep obsession and like a fixation and they're infatuated with you, but it's they act toxic and they don't really show you. So regardless of what this is, Cancer, the deception is here no matter what. And then that's what makes them realize a few things. You know, maybe you inspire them to want to be single too, or, you know, 
they don't know do they like you do they have love for you they don't like are they are they you know is there new love or is there something fun i don't even know like they don't know that makes them continue to be unfaithful to who they're in a marriage or relationship with try to cheat you into a fucked up contract um they're not faithful they're not their 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 the religion their spiritual path it's like messing with them something's messing with them in some way shape or form okay and this is what causes them to either not want to work on things with you at all or just get obsessive and, and just continue doing something frantically and overwork themselves about work, but it's nothing's working, okay? Or try to use you for finances. Regardless of what this is, this is what causes them to do a few things. The family gets dysfunctional. Your parents start to get stupid with you. And or it's this energy of they are in the middle of the divorce with you, right? And if it's not that, you know, this is your ex trying to find a way to break up homewreck or, you know what I mean? Like, like ruin your happiness, basically, not homewreck. <laughs> Someone's homewrecking, I don't know. Um, you know what I mean? And, you know, for others of you, they are in their own marriage and relationship, very unfaithful because they're dealing with you. Regardless of what that is, they know the addictions, the toxicity, everything, the deception that is going on. They're aware of it. They even heed the warning. They even got their own warning about you for whatever reason and what they're doing. And whether they like live with you or not, this is where, you know, they think about this at home and it gets revealed to them at their home. That's when they don't want to end things with you, even though it's very painful for them here. Because it looks like, you know, for the sake of an idea, for business, um, you know, whatever it is here, an approach to make things work here with you. They end up really looking deeper into themselves, you know, trying to manifest things with you, co-create with you. They end up looking at, you know, stuff that they can change, stuff that they can figure out with their own talents and skills, whatever it is that they want to do here for themselves, okay? They put in the work with that, and then all of I don't know what happened that fast, all of a sudden it flips. And they choose to continue to be unfaithful and untrustworthy, not only to you and or who they're dealing with, of course, you know, if they're marriage or relationship. Or I don't know, they get a little ego trip and all of a sudden they're like better than you or their narcissism kicks in and they kind of treat you a certain way or they go real cold. They have no faith and belief and hope in any of this. And they're comfortable. That makes them comfortable. That makes them feel real good, real comfortable. Like they're totally cool, you know, being this way okay with regardless of whatever this is that they're doing and what's happening here yeah and it's because they're just like yep i got options cancer is an option for me i have that person this person i got my options and i'm cool they're totally cool calm collected being this way okay you could be dealing with um a virgo taurus capricorn gemini libra aquarius okay thank you bye